Nowadays, people try not to stand out because if you are a little different, you are considered abnormal. This viewpoint is sad, especially because it puts too much emphasis on how we look in comparison to our peers. Jonah Lancaster has unfortunately been painfully reminded of just how cruel the world can be. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. In 1985, Jonah Lancaster was born in England, but didn't look like other babies at the hospital. Jonah had treacher Collins syndrome, a rare congenital disorder which caused his facial bones to develop in an asymmetrical way. Doctors informed his parents that he would probably never walk or talk which shocked them. When I was born, my parents were in total shock. I was out of the hospital 36 hours after I was born. Social services found someone to look after me. The foster carer was a lady called Jean, Jomo mentions. Jomo's parents put him up for adoption when he was two days old and the hospital contacted social service where Jean Lancaster raised him. Jean felt an instant connection, then turned to the nurse and said, When can I take him home? Jono couldn't have asked for a better and more devoted mother. Despite the love and support, Jono's early years were marked by reluctance from the outside world to show understanding. Once Jono started school, he became aware of how different he looked in comparison to his classmates. I kind of felt like I was on my own, and I felt like I was the only one out in the world that was like me. People are lucky enough to win the lottery or they become professional footballers, doctors, lawyers, but I thought, why did I have to end up looking like this? Jono explains. His classmates would run away and pull faces at him saying they did not want to catch his disease. I used to hide how unhappy I was from my mom. She had already done so much for me, he remarks. Jono refused to give up and let the haters win though, and by his side, he had a wonderful woman. Jean attempted to reunite him with his biological parents, however, when they returned her letters for five straight years. She decided to adopt Jono on May 18, 1990. So I get two birthdays. I used to tell other kids that my mom went to the hospital and she looked at all the babies and she chose me, whereas their parents had been stuck with them. Jonah remarks, Jonah will never forget his foster mom. This lady may be a little short in height, but this lady has the biggest heart out of everyone I've ever met. This lady has been a foster carer for 30 years, she loves and has given herself to so many. This lady cried every time a child moved onto another foster home as she felt somehow she had failed them. This lady, despite being a single mom in her 40s, took me on despite not knowing what the future held. This lady adopted me and along with Claire and Stephen gave me an amazing family. This lady is an angel sent to me when I needed one the most. This angel's name is Jean, my mom, my hero. Jono became very rebellious during his teenage years doing things which would draw attention in an attempt to distract others from his physical features. He started to drink a lot of alcohol. I was feeling so alone. But with love and care from Jean and his own strong spirit, Jono soon decided to be a force for good and use his experience to help others. Jonah now devotes his life to helping others, with Treacher Collins Syndrome working as a team leader for adults with autism. My parents still want nothing to do with me, he says. What's changed is my attitude, and that's what's so powerful. I wouldn't change any of it. My attitude was more disabling than anything. With the right attitude, you can achieve anything. In 2015, Jonah met Laura Richardson while working as a fitness instructor. Laura saw Jono for who he was. He always thought he would turn to adoption if he would have children and start a family. I've always dreamed of being a daddy. I crave father in some moments. My adoptive mom was absolutely amazing, but I never had a father figure in my life, and that's something I really, really want. I want to do the school run, take my child to dance, gymnastics or football, whatever they want, Jono comments. Despite Jono being born relatively healthy, Many children with Treacher Collins suffer severe medical problems, and some are born unable to breathe. So maybe adoption was the best option, Jonah thought. It worked really well for me, and giving a child a second chance, I think that's brilliant. But Laura thinks she will have those instincts of really wanting to carry a child, and she's worried that she might find it hard to look after someone else's child, or that the child will just want to find its natural parents. 
Jono said and continued. Plus, she really wants our child to be our child. And I really would look after her when she is pregnant, for her to be on the sofa, or for me to run downstairs at 2 a.m. when she fancies a pickle. Sadly, Laura and Jono never had kids. The couple decided to split up after 10 years together. Jono explains the reason why on Instagram. Myself and Laura shared 10 amazing years together, and we decided to go our separate ways as we weren't growing together as a couple. Nothing but mutual respect there and had nothing to do with appearance. Some of his followers showed sympathy and tried to focus on the positive, encouraging Jono that something good can come out of a broken relationship. I don't think breakups can ever be spun into sounding good. It was heartbreaking, Jono answered, 